This is Baijo. And at a glance, it might seem super straightforward. Just grab your Baijo, grab your CCP approved shot glass, pour it up and shoot it back. However, Baijo is a significant part of Chinese culture. And if you find yourself in China, especially for business, you're gonna need to know a little bit more than just how to throw a shot back. So first, let's talk about what Baijo is, and then let's talk about how you should drink it. Baijo is old, like really old. And in its earliest form, potentially dates back to 16 AD from the Tang Dynasty. It typically is between 35 and 60% ABV and is made from sorghum. The sorghum in Baijiu gives it a very distinct and aromatic profile that is very different from most alcohols you've probably had in the West. Speaking of aroma, there are four major aroma types or flavor profiles that Baijiu can get classified into. There is light aroma, rice aroma, strong aroma, and sauce aroma. Now, when I was in China, I actually had a chance to try sauce aroma, and that one was really unique because it literally tasted like soy sauce. To go a little further on that, each aroma has its own flavor and is created using different techniques that sometimes even include introducing different grains like rice in order to create those new aromas. But I'm not gonna go any further on the fermentation process. We do not care. All right, with all of that out of the way, let's talk about how to drink Baijiu. Like I said in the intro, it's almost always taken in shots. However, similar to soju, there is an etiquette to it. And if you haven't already seen my soju video, go check it out, link in the description. All right, there's a lot to cover here, so we're gonna actually try and speed run Baijiu etiquette, starting now. Okay, so when you get to the dinner or meeting, don't drink until the host has said a toast. A Chinese toast is usually just a few kind words, nothing super elaborate. Okay, so now that the host has given his toast, you can go ahead and drink by yourself now, right? Well, actually, no. It's frowned upon to drink by yourself in China. So what do you do? You gotta toast somebody. But lucky for you, the person wants to toast you. So awesome. Make sure to hold your glass with two hands and try to go underneath their glass when cheersing to show how much you respect them. But hold up. The person you just toasted said gan bei. What does that mean? It means you better finish that shot in one go and not wussy out. No, like literally it means finish your glass. So do it. Okay, about 30 minutes have gone by and things are going well but the person that toasted you is looking at you kind of funny. You forgot to toast them back, dummy. If someone toasts you, always make sure to toast them back. It doesn't have to be immediate, but don't forget. Okay, last part. So if you can't already tell, things are gonna get kind of crazy, even if you're only toasting two to three people. However, it's typically seen as a positive thing to be drunk in China. Who would have thought? In business meetings, you're most likely going to be slammered because it is believed that by being intoxicated, it'll show your true character. So just remember to pace yourself, drink lots of water, and in the end, it's usually a good thing if you're having a good time. Time. Okay, so there may be some things that I missed or even brushed over. However, that should be enough to equip and prepare you for your upcoming Chinese dinner or business meeting. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, hey, this is great and all, but I literally can't drink liquor without it being in a cocktail. And the fact that Baiju is at 60% really scares me. Can you make a cocktail with it? The answer to that question is yes, yes you can. Although it is traditional and much more common to drink Baijiu straight, Baijiu cocktails are becoming much more popular with the younger generation and are actually creeping into Western culture as well. So let's make one real quick. Since Baijiu already has kind of a fruity and almost tangy aroma to it, I think putting it in a Cosmopolitan would be a really good match. For this cocktail, you will need Baijiu. I'm using a strong aroma Baijiu. You also need an orange liqueur. I'm using triple sec because Cointreau is too dang expensive. Cranberry juice, and then finally, some limes. First, go ahead and grab your shaker, add ice, add one and a half ounces of Baijiu, one ounce of cranberry juice, half an ounce of triple sec, and then I'm adding one ounce of lime juice, but you can have some flexibility on how much you add. Then go ahead and cap your shaker and embarrass yourself. Once your shaker is frosted over, run downstairs and grab a chilled glass. Then go ahead and strain your drink, garnish with a cute little lime wheel, and there you have your Baijiu Cosmo. Let's try this out. All right, so we have our Baijo Cosmo here. I'm uh, ready to try it. So let's go ahead and give this bad boy a little sip. I'm gonna go ahead and take the lime wedge and just go boop. It's definitely a unique twist on the Cosmo. Someone could probably tell that you weren't using vodka in this Cosmo, but would they be disappointed? I don't think so. I think it has a, it's unique enough and it blends well enough with the flavors that are already in the Cosmo. But with all that being said, it is just a pretty cool twist on the regular Cosmo. Alrighty friends, that is Baijiu. Definitely a unique liquor and a huge pillar of Chinese culture. If you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and hit that like button. Or if you learned something new, let me know in the comments below what you learned. But with that in mind, thanks for watching and hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.